updating Telo's firmware. Inside each one of these drones is firmware. Now the firmware is the software of the drone that tells the drone how to fly, how to interpret our code, how to connect to the various devices, etc. If there's ever an improvement or a bug that needs to be fixed, Telo does that through the firmware. Now when you bought your Telos, they were released from the factory using the latest available firmware at the time. So there's been new firmware since these got released, and we're going to put it on these drones. So what we need to do is we need to download the Telo app. For this exercise, we recommend that you use an App Store device or a Play Store device. Okay, so I'll show you an example with an App Store where you need to go on and download the Telo app. So let's have a look. On your device, simply open up your App Store and go down to your search feature. You can see it over there. So when you go to search, type in Telo. And what you're going to see is that there are going to be there are going to be some results returned to you. You want to click on the Telo app where you see this little Telo and it says Telo, feel the fun. It's uh, the icon for the app is a little black square with the word Telo in white. Tap on get and it will start to download. Now, if you already have the app, it'll say open, like you can see in my example. So I'm going to tap open for you. Go onto your home screen and locate the app and just tap on the app. Then you're going to be greeted with this, a little Tello spinning up, and then it welcomes you saying Tello's terms of service. So here we have the terms of service, and it tells us um, the last update, terms of service. We have to tick this, I've read and agreed to these terms. So we click on that, and then just tap on accept. Now it says how to connect. Now, Tello doesn't realize that you've actually gone through the previous video, and you know all about how to connect. So this is where we connect to our device. So you simply go into your... Now, before we connect, if you're on the latest version of iOS or iPad OS, you will notice that you'll probably get this pop-up over here that says Tello would like to access your photos. You can allow them to all your photos or you can do select photos. This is a new privacy feature of Apple's. So you can either just say um, allow to select and cancel that, but you don't have to make that decision now. And then once you've connected, so now we will exit this app, where is over here, and then I'm going to go to my settings, Wi-Fi, there it is, uh, Tello, connecting, I'm going to switch back to my Tello app, here we go, okay, now the very first time you're going to get a, the beginner's guide pops up saying these are some steps, this is how it works, I'm just going to skip all of this, and here is the camera, now I'm going to just pause this camera part, actually I'll get to a nicer frame, there we go. Look, behind the scenes. That way you don't have the, you know, motion sickness of trying to watch someone's camera. I know how that can be. So um, here we have the Tello. It's working because I know that the camera is on the screen. So what I want to do now is I want to click on settings up here. So just go to settings. And then this menu over here appears. And I want to click on more. Then I want to click on these three dots. And you will see over here it says firmware. Then on the right side of that menu firmware, it says update. So I'm going to tap on update. There we go. And now, look, it goes and it says connect to the internet. Remember in the previous video where I said once you've connected to the Tello, you're no longer connected to the internet? This is one of the reasons I wanted to show you that. So now all you need to do is go back to your wireless. So jump over to the settings. It should still be open. I can just switch app. Okay, I'm now going to connect to the internet. Okay, now that I'm on the internet, I'm going to go back to my Tello app. Okay, now because the Tello failed to download, because, well, I wasn't on the internet, I'm going to tap download again. And this time, dun, 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 there you go. It's told me about the firmware. I click on start and it starts to download. Awesome. So now it says, please connect to the aircraft. Let's go do this again. Settings and Wi-Fi. Back to Tello. Do, 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 do. Connecting, connecting. I'm back on my Tello. Okay, so now I jump back to the app and let's see what happens. Okay, so now I'm going to tap on update. Now watch what happens when I tap on update. All of a sudden, I have this new menu, activation. Your device shall be activated before first use in order to request warranty, repair, and other service Tello provides. Cool. So tap on activate. And now Tello pops up with another message. It needs you to authorize. 
So this part, what does it say here? Tello requests to access your device serial number. Okay, so you can read all of that. And once you've read it, if you're happy, tap authorize and watch what happens. So now you're going to connect. It's spinning, it's spinning, it's spinning. There you go. It says activating and it's activated just like that. And in the background, it says updating. Now, while this is updating, you'll notice that the Tello light starts to blink and do some stuff. Don't turn off your Tello. Don't take the battery out of your Tello. Just let it run. It takes a couple of minutes. I'm going to just use some video editing magic quickly. Okay, now nah, here we go. Upgrade successfully. Please connect Tello. Well done. Now that's because our Tellos have disconnected and restarted. So we just reconnect to the Tello. And let's see what we can find. If I go back to my Wi-Fi, reconnect to Tello. Okay, upgrade successfully. I'm now connected. If I tap on this little cross button, exit the menus. Oh, look, we have a guest. Oh, Tara, hello. Um, guest speaker who wants to visit. I'll just uh, pause the screenshot so you don't end up getting motion sickness. But that's a cat who is very happy to be on camera. Isn't she lovely? And guess what? You've just successfully updated your Tello's firmware. How cool was that? Now, what you can do is, because your mobile device has just downloaded the firmware, the next drone you connect to, you won't have to do the connect, go to the internet, go back to the drone. You can now deploy the firmware straight onto the next drone. So switch the battery, put the battery in the next drone, turn it on, connect to it, run through the updates. This is a process that you have to do when you get your initial drone pack. If your students are skilled enough, you might be able to show them how to do it and then have them do that with you. Or you might have students that are slightly younger, in which case you as the educator want to run all the updates yourself so that when you give the drones out to your students, they are already updated. Now, if you don't update your firmware, you will have problems with connecting and flying and launching your code. With our support system, one of the very first questions we always ask is, does your Tello have the latest firmware before we carry on with the troubleshooting process? Because it's that essential to have the latest firmware on these little drones before you can fly them. Now, if you do experience any issues with this, simply contact support at droneblocks.io and let us know what the problem is and we'll get our support team on to help you out. But now that we've updated our drones with the latest firmware, we're ready to take to the scars. So, Without further ado, jump onto the next video where we're going to fly this Tello in a square using the DroneBlox app and block code. So grab your drones, your batteries, and your devices and meet me in the next video.